Hey guys, uh, it's Atticus of Death Miller here. Uh, no, there's going to be no um, fancy intro onto this video. It's just going to be me, as usual, just normal me. It's basically just a uh, longly needed update video that I really need to address some stuff going on as of right now in my life. So, yeah, I just want to get things out of the way real quick and let you know on what is going on right now. Now, yes, it's been known that I am still working on my third episode of the Death Metaler Cinemas in regards to M. Night Shyamalan. I just recently saw Glass, which I will talk about more onto that episode. So I still need to uh, proofread and just pretty much just try and rewrite, rewrite the script, if you know what I'm trying to say here. But um, as well as I have two confirmed episodes of the Death Mill Reviews coming up. Hopefully I will get all those down by next month. But it's been very tough for me to get those out just due to the fact that, you know, I have a job. I work a 9 to 5 hour job from Monday to Friday, 9 to 5. And as well as, as I'm trying to get a consistent routine uh, workout at my gym. But... As you probably do know from what you what I recently posted on my Facebook is probably one of the reasons why that it's just been very tough for me getting out all these videos. Now those of you who have seen my recent post on my Facebook page and those of you who are unaware of what's going on, let me just break it out right now. Um, most of you know uh, a good friend of mine, Big Nick, um, also known as Renegade Juggalo. Last week he unfortunately passed away due to a major brain injury he sustained while going through a seizure while he was at his job. And yeah, I, I know it's, it's extremely tragic and extremely unfortunate. And hearing about the news really hit me like a freight train. I had to process myself onto hearing the news and then next thing you know, I'm breaking down in tears knowing that a good friend of mine has passed away. And a few weeks ago, we recently talked about my my <laughs> my Super Soyan video and he really enjoyed it and stuff. But it's it, it it's it's tough. It's still tough trying to um come to terms that Big Nick has unfortunately passed away. Big Nick was such a kind-hearted individual who was just absolutely down to earth. He uh, played little cameos into some of, my, some of my videos while I was gaining a fan base, as well as doing a collab with me, Walk on Home Phil, and I remember watching that a few days ago and I'm just like, wow, wow, like the, the good times that me and Big Nick have had. And he was such a, he was such a, you know, great member of the ranting community. He helped out with, you know, my friend's official GATG, Ranter and Shades, and Thrash Metal Guru. But I'm going to try my best and not to let his death weigh down on me. Because that's the one thing Big Nick wouldn't want me to do. Is to like, basically, you know feel like a sorry piece of shit over his death but I mean I've as you all know I've experienced death in my family as you as you all know I lost an uncle due to alcoholism I lost a uh, cousin due to addiction to prescription drugs and last year I lost an aunt to ovarian cancer and you know just hearing about this it just it brings it all back and I mean, it's never easy when you lose someone that you love and stuff. But I mean, I'm just I'm just glad that, you know, me and the gang are actually bringing up really good and fond memories of Big Nick and stuff. And if any news comes around over his family wanting to do something for his funeral expenses, like I will gladly I will gladly pay for their funeral expenses and I will and if, if something comes out I will indeed leave a description on a future video if it comes to that it's it's the least I can do 
to a good friend of mine. But, yeah. But yes, Big Nick, he will indeed be missed by his friends, his family, and the community that he was a part of, the YouTube community. I will greatly, you know, appreciate his friendship. And, um... It's going to take some time for me to get used to it, obviously, and I also have to really watch out for my mental health. No, I don't have any history of mental illness, but when it comes to all this stuff, along with making videos and, you know, my job, it really does put a strain on you. So, I think all of you guys can understand. I think you guys can all understand that I do have a life outside of YouTube. I do work a nine to five job. I try to keep a consistent workout routine and I'm also recently just starting to eat a little bit more healthier. I recently got my blood tested and it turns out that I am like at risk of getting fatty liver, liver disease and blood clots. So no bueno, no bueno. It's, oh my God. But now that all that is out of the way, um, let's go to the fun stuff coming up. As I've said earlier, I am, I am currently working on my uh, death metal recidivist video and two death metal reviews videos. Hopefully nothing crazy happens because I usually tend to actually make videos on something that is just absolutely batshit crazy. Like, I mean, part six of the crucifixion of the mainstream media, but I'm going to try my damnedest not to actually, you know, uh, fall temptation to all that shit and just try to stick to schedule. And um, as well as uh, future concerts coming up, um, as of this year, I'm trying to really limit myself into going to concerts, mostly just due to uh, vacations later on in the summer. So stay tuned for all that. I know I'm trying to raise up a lot of money for that, but who knows? Like, you'll know sooner or later of what I'm talking about. But the two shows I plan to go, they are both shows at the Haven Lounge at Winter Park, Orlando, Florida. Um, the first one, March 26th, is going to be where Flesh God Apocalypse and Hypocrisy are going to be playing. And on April 10th, I will be seeing Hideous Divinity, Benighted, Cryptopsy, and the Masters of Death Grind themselves aborted. So these are definitely two shows that I cannot wait to attend. Those of you who are friends with me in the Orlando area, watch my videos in the Orlando area. Make sure to get all of your tickets. Make sure to support the local acts as well, like Spawn of 13 and uh, All Hell, which will be playing at the Hypocrisy Flesh God Apocalypse date. Make sure to you know buy tickets from them because you know you got to help out the locals and all that stuff. So yeah, I thought I would make a update video on to what is currently going on in my life. And uh, guys, you know, I'm human as much as everyone here. I, I mean, making YouTube videos along with a, you know, full-time job does kind of get overwhelming and stressful and stuff like that. But guys, please be patient with me, please. And I think all of you understand that. I think all of you understand that and I absolutely greatly appreciate your patience. I really do because I mean, when when you're working 9 to 5 hours at a full-time job, it gets, you know, it gets a little bit tiring and stuff. But yeah, it'll be out very soon and just, you know, be patient and thank you so much for understanding. I'm Atticus the Death Metaler, Keep the Metal. Have an excellent and blessed day, y'all.